particularly in view of the wars, the crisis, pandemic, and currently, that currently complicate or even endanger our lives. Today, I would like to expand upon the exciting topic and take a deeper look at the important economic aspect of art. In 2020, global sales in the art market peaked at about 50 billion US dollars. That was 22% less than in 2019, and even 27% less than in 2018. Nevertheless, although the decline was severe, it was smaller than during the last major recession in 2009, and also smaller than in other relevant industries. The real winner of the pandemic is the online market. With a turnover of over 12 billion US dollars, online sales doubled from 2019, thus increasing the online market share of a total turnover from 9 to 25%. It is said that in the, most, in the 10 most important countries in the world, there are almost 3,000 wealthy collectors. Of these, 66% said that the pandemic increased their interest in collecting. This corresponds with my own experience with collectors from my firm, Die Galerie. The pandemic has actually increased the purchasing power of the wealthy social classes, as well as the interest in art. The crisis has made the super rich, those with average assets of around $10 billion, even richer. As a result, investments in art has become a formidable segment of the capital market. During the global, fin uh, global financial crisis in 2009, the number of billionaires across the world dropped by 30% and their wealth collapsed by 45%. In 2020, on the other hand, the number of billionaires increased by 7% and their wealth grew by 32%. I have met many collectors whose passion does not exclude the financial interest and many a corporate co 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 collection is based on the entrepreneur's personal love of art. Collecting art involves something much deeper and much personal and satisfies more than just the eye and the mind. Often, the art piece chosen speaks to an emptiness that wants to be filled, a pain that wants to be alleviated, a joy that wants to be fulfilled. Art satisfies a longing. It can have something therapeutic. Although I am an art dealer, in my private life, I rarely collect tactically or strategically. I am not primarily concerned with the possible increase of value. For me, collecting is driven by something unavoidable, even irrational. I stand there, fascinated by a painting in front of me and filled with the, the desire to possess it, either privately for myself or commercially for a good client. But it must be a very good client. This is the power and the might of beauty. Of particular interest in this context is the broad international discussion regarding the art collection of Lee Kun Hee, the former chairman of Samsung, who died in October 2020, and whose father founded the Samsung Group. The discussion moves and fascinates the public far beyond that of just Korea. In April, his family announced that over a five-year period, they would use more than half of the value of his estate for inheritance tax in the form of extensive donations from Lee's collection of 23,000 artworks. For several months, museum visitors have had the opportunity to take a look at the businessman's treasures, both in the National Museum of Korea and the National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art, are currently presenting a selection of masterpieces from his collection, including paintings by Pablo Picasso, Claude Monet, and Auguste Renoir. A national debate 
has arisen regarding the permanent presentation of the Lee Kun Hee collection. The Ministry of Culture is currently considering two possible locations in Seoul for the construction of a new museum dedicated exclusively to his collection. All this clarifies, clearly reflects the enormous public interest and the corresponding appeal that a collection of this kind can achieve. And the Japanese cosmetic company Chiseido, which has maintained an exhibition gallery since 1920. These companies have come to realize that while having their own museum may be costly, it is also an extremely effective tool when it comes to marketing and communication. Art can make such an important contribution to a company that it is worthwhile to make it a part of a corporate policy. Everything I have told you today testifies the success of art and collections. In the end, all that I can say is, don't be put off or frightened by larger sums of money. Acquiring art can be occasionally quite painful, that is true. But money is earned through money. So obviously, that art, it is obvious that art saved the world, but it can often also help the wallet.